All right. We are live on YouTube. Give me one second. And live on Instagram. Hello. Hey, Erica. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. All right. We're going to get started today. Um, hello. <laughs> okay. I think I can get it. Boom. That's pretty close. Just can't see the flute part. I've seen it raised up like half an inch. Boom. I think that's good. Hopefully it doesn't fall. We'll see. If you're coming on here on Instagram, we are on uh, YouTube where it's less awful looking. Uh, we're going to go at 80 beats a minute. I think that's okay. Just like that. It might fall, actually. It really might. I don't honestly don't know how it's standing up like that. Okay. I'm gonna play trombone. I wrote the dynamics on this exercise. Oh, I wrote this dynamics on this exercise in a way that will make it to where it's actually a little bit easier to play for you. Uh, the higher you go, the bigger the crescendo is. Um, so it's not too bad for you. When you're practicing it, I'll try not to overblow here. Beginning. You can play your first note before you start, regardless of what instrument you're on. Two, ready, and. Okay, try it here. Um, let's try that again one more time. I'm going to do the whole thing, and we'll break it apart. One, two, ready, and. And again, that last note is a pickup note in the next measure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just keep that in mind as you guys are looking at it. Don't get too quiet. It's really laggy. Okay. I don't know if it's laggy on this end or not. It's the first measure. Okay. As long as you're playing the right key signature with the flats, um, then you're probably okay. But that first measure is kind of tricky. If you take the third and fourth note, okay, third and fourth note. No, okay. Go back and forth with that. I'd set a metronome. Again, 80 beats per minute, and I would do those in half notes, this, uh, the third and fourth note of the whole exercise to get used to playing into that upper register. If you're, if you're a brass player, <clears throat> and that means tongues in the E position, clarinet, tongues in the E position, super fast air, okay, smaller lips. Um, for clarinets, it might help to readjust your bottom lip and push it down a little bit. For flute players, you're blowing up and really focused air. Okay, Don't overblow to the point where you're making it sound um, really sh what is happening? Okay, if I get that three times in a row, perfect, uh, then I'll change it to quarter notes. For those of you that are younger players, sixth graders, that's going to be hard for you. Sixth grade black brass players, um, that'll be difficult. And so you really need to spend some time on that. Try it again, like I always say in class, try to overshoot it. Because if you overshoot it, then you're going to end up hitting too high. Congratulations, you put too much effort into it. Um, that's fine. Okay, here it is in quarter notes, those two notes. Ready and go. Times in a row, perfect. Grayson, 
Uh, percussion rolls everything that is half notes and whole notes. So anything that's the open notes. Definitely not quarter notes and eighth notes. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be super, super fast. Okay, and then once I've got that in quarter notes, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do eighth notes. Ready? And... Just get really comfortable with that. Um, again, if you're trying to overshoot it still and you're cracking the pitch, I mean, it's good, good effort. Um, but just try to really land it with your lips. Another thing that I would do if I'm a brass player, so I'd take my mouthpiece off and I'd go. <laughs> Because the issue is not the horn. The issue is what you can do with your mouthpiece for brass players. So try to, try to match that pitch. We haven't done that in a while. We, we spent a lot of time on the, at the beginning of the beginning band year. Um, but keep that in mind. Now, once you feel comfortable with all that, I would do all of those notes in the first measure. Just at your own tempo and pace. <laughs> crescendo right now because it crescendo naturally happens the higher we go okay if you're a clarinet player uh for you guys it is that transition between those the the um third and fourth note just like brass players it's difficult because you're crossing the break you're having to put more fingers down so i would practice for you guys just going back and forth between a and d a and d a and d over and over again you can do right hand down that's fine uh, on the a uh, to get your D set quickly, but that happens so fast that you may not have time. All right, <clears throat> and then uh, second measure, you have to watch those flats. First note's flat, fourth note's flat. One and two, second measure, go. Sorry, I went on. Uh, do the second measure again. Two, ready, and... Just a little bit of a gradual decrescendo. My, I'm saving the decrescendo really for the next two measures. Okay, ta 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 ta. There's your tonguing stuff. Okay. All right. Make sure you're really steady with the tempo. Make sure you're really steady with um, the rhythm. Uh, that's the only thing that's going to really mess people up if they're not watching the key signature. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. And then let's take a look at. Okay. Booyah. All right. So in measure five, six, seven, and eight, okay, this is more subdued. We're starting at a piano dynamic level from the previous measure with that pickup note. We'll start right here. Still 80 beats per minute. One, two, ready, and go. <laughs> notes right and one thing i want to point out to you guys and this this doesn't get covered i, I feel like i gloss over it like because most people get it without even thinking about it but in measure the in what you see on the screen in measure one and measure two the first two notes of each measure are the same but they are under a slur now i've had a few of you guys you've already have to re-tongue it you're gonna have to re-articulate it okay percussion this isn't a thing for you because you're not dealing with the slurs you just ignore the slurs completely okay um but re-tongue or re-articulate the second note in each of those measures. So instead of this, this is what I was getting from some people. They're going. They weren't really tonguing it again, so you couldn't hear the second note. This is what it should sound like. Sorry. 
second note being tongue. I use kind of a light, like a da syllable tonguing. If you want to use um, a regular ta, that's that's acceptable uh, in this instance. Um, but you want to make it as smooth as possible, okay? Without, uh, but without dragging it together. All right, let's just do the first two measures together. Here's our tempo. We start quiet. Second measure, we're louder. One, two, ready, and go. Okay, do that again. One, two, ready, fast, air. That second measure will naturally be louder because it's higher. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about that, but you do need to make it have a big difference, mostly for the following measure. Here's measure three and four of what's on the page here. This is measure, what, seven and eight of your music. One, two, ready, and go. Good. Now, let's get really technical with this. First off, we're starting at mezzo piano. And for some of you guys that are beginners, um, for, for those of you that are beginners, you might have a hard time playing that upper register note at a mezzo piano level. Be louder than you need to be. That's fine. Okay, to really get that to come out cleanly. I'm more concerned about the notes and the rhythms rather than the dynamics and all that stuff because you'll get better at that as we keep on going. The second thing with this is when you get to the words towards the end, this is the th these are the two measures dynamically that don't help you. They're the opposite. Okay, you start loud and or sorry, you start soft and high, and then the further you go, the lower and louder you're supposed to get. So really dig into those low notes. And as you approach those last two low notes of this measure, you need to make sure that you're really opening up, okay? You're really relaxing. You're opening up as a brass player. Um, for our flutes, we need to make sure we're blowing down. And clarinets, make sure you're not really too tense, okay? We don't want any sort of uh, uh, biting happening, especially for those lower notes, to get them to come out clearly and, and uh, with good intonation, meaning the tune between them. Yeah, an app would be good. An app or like a, a keyboard thing uh, online. Okay, here's those two measures again. This measure three and four on the page. This is measure seven and eight in the exercise. One, two, start softly. Go. Yeah. Hard to get those notes to come out. Especially on trombone. I have a trigger trombone, so I could use like two and one for the B and the C. Uh, but I'm not going to, since most of you guys are not using that. It's hard to find that seventh position, really kick your arm out there. If you're doing trombone, everybody else just has to relax. Trumpets on that C sharp, you should be kicking way out. Okay, super, super far out. All right, let's move on. And I will be switching over to horn here in just a second. Um, so you guys can hear what those sound like. We'll do some practice stuff with that too. Since your notes are different on the horn and how they sound. Okay, let's check our gram. It's a little too big. My apologies. It's a minute. Ready, one, two, ready, and go. <laughs> Per minute slower than what we've been doing. Here's 70 beats per minute. First measure only. One and two and ready and go. I cracked that pitch. It's a high pitch. You gotta get up there. Ready and go. I'm really pushing, and you guys can do the same thing we did in the first measure of the whole thing of this video. We did uh, the third and fourth note. To get those pitches to come out. If you're overshooting it, too much effort into it, you're squeezing too hard, that's okay. Just back it off a little bit and you'll be fine. Um, but that's hard. I know that every beginner, 
pretty much air. Again, two, and push it back, air. Good, I'm trying to get that note out. It's overblowing, that's okay. That's part of the learning process. Uh, so just do your best, do, do what you can do. All right, let's look at the second measure. This is a tough spot to start on because I know a lot of you guys, this is still a high note for you, the beginning of the second measure. Ready? Second measure, one and two and ready and go. Again, and two and ready and go. One more time, two and ready and go. Good. Some of the tendencies on this one are for people to rush through the eighth notes and play them too quickly. Don't play the eighth notes too quickly. They're going to be longer, twice as long as the sixteenth notes. The second thing is, I notice when we start doing fast stuff and you have to repeat notes, that messes up young players. Okay, so if you're playing this and you're moving, your slide is not moving or your fingers are not moving with the actual notes that you see on the page, you need to spend some time in doing some um, airplay ta. So just go ta, 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 ta. Just do the first three notes, then do the next three notes. Ta, 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 ta. Or, well, yeah, next three notes. Ta, 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 ta. Then do the first six notes together. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Okay. Um, try that. If you're watching the video and you're practicing with us, that's fine. Uh, if you want to go back and watch it again later. Hey, TJ. And ready and go. You get better, Janet. I didn't use an other mitt for that to get that up. One and two and next three notes. Go. Oops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I keep failing here. Hang on one second. Ready. One and two and ready and go. the next two notes with it. Notes are easy. Ready and go. Again and two and ready and go. Yeah, I keep messing up. But <clears throat> you kind of get the gist of it. Let's do third measure now. One E and a two and three E and four and. One and two and ready and go. That's what I would do if I'm practicing it. Just kind of nail those first five notes. It's hard. It's tricky for some people. Two. Ready and go. Oh. Oh, it's an F. Okay. I'm just trying to skip the E flat too soon. The fourth note. Ready, go. Sorry. One and two and ready and go. Again and two and ready and go. measure and the louder second measure you should okay play it quietly and bring out that last measure that's what we're looking for okay main thing is notes and rhythms okay especially for the beginners that's that's ready and go ready and go one more time go I try to shoot for three to four five times perfect in a row before I move on. With it, you've practiced so much, you feel so comfortable with it that 
you're not really going to make a mistake. You're almost on autopilot this whole time. Okay. I'm going to add one more note. First six notes. Two, and ready, and go. Again, and go. Again, and go. Okay. I'm going to do the next uh, five notes. Starting on the 16th notes, the C. Or the, what is it, five, six, seven, eight, the eighth note. Two, and ready, and go. Again, and go. Be abrupt with those last three eighth notes. Like stop, bump, 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 bump. Staccato, keep them crisp, okay? Put the measure together. One, and two, and ready, and go. Oh, I could not hit my keyboard. And there we go. One, and two, and ready, and go. Again, and two, and ready, and go. Okay. Do that multiple times. Get used to it. Get really comfortable with it. All right. Does anybody have any questions in the chat or anything like that while I get the horn set up? Do what? Yeah, it's fine. Any questions? Any questions? No? That's fine. If you think of some later. I almost lost it. Okay, so no questions. And now I'm going to do the horn one um, uh, because their notes are different to some degree. If you are watching still and you are not a horn player, you can you, you don't have to stay on if you don't want to. Uh, if you're a horn player, you can stay on. You can catch this at the end too when it's uploaded to YouTube. Because um, after I'm done with the horn thing, I'll, I'll get off of here since I've already been on for about 30 minutes. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> I haven't played this. Hang on. up and I just played a, a big fat mouthpiece on the trombone. All right, so first four measures, I'm going to work it up a little bit faster. I meant to do that, but I forgot to. One, two, ready, and... Okay, let's try that again. Um, horns, again, I would work on the third and fourth note. The D is really hard to hit and nail, because you can do. There's four notes that are right next to it uh, that make it really difficult to nail. structure this. <clears throat> that way you guys can go back and you can repeat the section, okay? But I'm going to play it with the metronome. One and two and ready and go. <laughs> that joins too. Okay, let's do the next set of measures here on horn. Bye, Ashley. Uh, we've already done, for those of you that um, just joined in, we've already done this one. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, we've already done this one. Um, 
on regular instruments, like regular wind instruments, we're just doing the horn one now because they're they're uh, they're in a different key. Okay. Here we go. Next four measures. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> trash on measure three. I was I wasn't quiet enough quiet enough and I didn't play the first note. Do it again. Ready? One and two and ready and that's it again. Yeah, sort of. I got some of them cut. Not by anybody outside of the home. Okay, ready? And one and two and again and Okay. Good. And moving on. That one's not too bad. Just that measure three is rough. What? Yeah, you're fine. My son is making a smoothie. Might be a little loud. All right, here's the last four measures. <laughs> here's the last four measures, and this is the hardest. Okay. One, two, ready, and. That's okay, Jackson. I saw your message. Uh, this should be a natural right there. Oh, that's so big and ugly. It's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, the, that's not going to work. Uh, but it has to be an E natural. All E's horns should be E natural. I don't think there's any E flats in them. Yeah. I'm, yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's do it again. One and two and ready and... <laughs> Yeah, you got that measure three. Again? Yeah, I know you could. Two and ready and go. Again? Ready and go. Yeah, a little tricky rhythm there. In the first measure horns. Um, your, your C to F, that's Chuck. Same fingering, and again, same issue where we can hit like four different notes right next to that F. So be very careful about what you're hitting. Okay. Yeah, Jackson, we'll take care of it. It's fine. No big deal. Um, in the second measure. I hate, D is just a rough note on the horn. That one too, goes through so much tubing. It's never very clear for me. that measure yeah it's crazy one thing i think actually are you saying whoa because of the like i can do the same thing for like four different notes that are next to each other I'm sure you are i was waiting for you to respond i don't even know if you're on here still is there a way to see who's on oh yeah you are on. okay i didn't know you could do that okay yeah so on the horn one thing that's kind of cool about the horn is that um I can play a whole scale up in the upper register. I haven't warmed up, so hopefully this is okay. But you can play a whole scale with no vowels whatsoever. I'll see what I can do. I do have to do some tricky stuff with my hand.
I'm old. I didn't know I could click the thing. I don't do live stream too much. Um, so yeah, that's why horn is difficult. You can't, you can't know where you're at. Yeah, it's crazy and annoying. All right. Um, I think that's it. Um, I've ran through some of the stuff. You guys can practice it. You can go back to the YouTube video and check it out. Uh, that's fine. And I think um, that's it. Your test is due on Friday. Uh, so please turn it in so that way we can get people set for their concert symphonic schedules uh, next year uh, and figure out what's going on. Thank you, Ashley. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it. No. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you're talking about the Minecraft video, Grayson? If it's that one, yes, I saw that. I made a comment, too. Go back and check my comment. Yes. Lucas is showing me his bed on Animal Crossing. It looks awesome. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay. I had to get pretty wood to make it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's good. Well, that's it uh, for now. If you guys have questions, you can shoot me an email or whatever. That's fine. Um, and I'll probably do. I'll do another live stream on Thursday. I may do some more. Uh, I may do some more later on too. So, all right, it's good to see you guys. Uh, thanks for coming in, and I will talk to you later. Bye.